Right, I'm in the live studio too, of course, and we're going to look at playing YouTube videos. Now, playing YouTube videos this way it doesn't overload your Chrome browser, and it's so smooth is the word, and it's very easy to do. All you need to do is to go over to Add Media, and you get a link. Now, what you do is you go to YouTube, and I've been to YouTube. I've got the video I want to play during my broadcast and the URL is at the top and I've copied it by doing Control C come back to my studio click the link paste it in and push the staging and you can see the video in the staging below me now it's just arrived now you can set all this up before you go live and the video will stay there until you actually delete it so you're in control and you can have as many videos as you like in your staging area. I can scroll through them. I can scroll back until I get to the one I want. I'm going to bring that up on screen. I'm going to go side by side and then I'm going to go full screen and I'm going to press play on the video. You see the normal YouTube play button there. I can press play and the video will begin. see me do say hello I'm going to be talking about remote assistant and how it actually works so let's give a chance to everybody to actually come in so I'm going to start the countdown timer and so I've stopped the video and we're actually getting information that's coming through from YouTube about what to play next and you can see some of the countdown videos and Blabbing for Britain and myself, I just X that, but there's controls at the bottom. You can scroll the video so you can move to a different part of the video and play that. You can go backwards, you can go forwards, or you can turn captions on. Now if you turn captions on, I'm going to Over here, and your assistant can. So you can have captions playing during the video. I mean, it's all been captioned by YouTube, and it's brought the captions over, and you can switch them on and off just by pressing the CC button, and that's all there is to it. Now I can come back on screen myself so that we're now side by side. So that's how easy it is to actually get a video in. Let's do that again, shall we? Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that video. Now that video, as I say, stays in my staging area until I delete it. If I want to delete it, I just press the X, top right hand corner, and it's gone. Now there's a second video I want to show you. And if I press the add media, and I go to my second video, I can copy the URL and come back to my studio and click the link and paste it and push to staging. This is what I do before the start of a broadcast because I want a countdown timer. There are three reasons I want a countdown timer. First reason is that it gives Facebook chance to let everybody know that I've gone live. When you do go live, Facebook takes about 20 seconds on average to let people know that you're live. So in that first minute, there's nobody actually watching. So don't say anything, well, don't say anything, just play the countdown video. Second thing is uh, we are going to be able to go to several different destinations at once. And the connection time to Facebook is different to the connection time to YouTube is different, the connection time to Twitch is different from the connection time to Periscope. So you've got four places and they've all got different connection times. And there, you don't know when the show started. So if you have a one minute countdown timer and you start at the end of the countdown timer, you know that everybody and every different platform you're broadcasting to will be there. 
And the third thing is, it gives you a chance to uh, get organized so that when you do go live, you're just ready to go. So without further ado, let's bring up the uh, countdown clock. Now, these are free to use, and you can simply paste in the URL, because they're all on YouTube. It brings them into your staging area. You bring them up on screen before the start of your show. You go full screen. And then all you need to do is actually press the button. Now you'll notice that the countdown clock goes blank when you get to zero and that's the point at which you should be on screen. You can get quite adept if you practice at actually uh, removing it from screen as it gets to zero and bringing yourself up screen. Now you notice that I'm already in the live section. I just put the video full screen so that when it finished I didn't have anything to do other than switch off the full screen and come live and talk to you. So that's how to play YouTube videos in your Belive broadcast just by copying and pasting a link and then bring it up on screen when you need it. It's there as long as you need it. You can play the video several times. Um, so there are all sorts of opportunities using YouTube video. Just a final thing on that, make sure you have the copyright to play the video. Uh, especially in terms of music. If you are going live to Facebook, then uh, that's one set of copyright rules. If you're going live to YouTube, it's another set. It's, well, try not to play video with copyrighted music because if you share the video, you're gonna have problems. But you can have great fun using videos. So we've shown how to look at uh, YouTube videos whilst you're broadcasting, playing YouTube videos, at any point during your broadcast, I wish you enjoy, well, enjoy doing it, really. This has been Stephen in Wiltshire in England. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you the next time I have something to share. Okay, thank you, and goodbye for now.